हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सराज फैजी आई वेलकम यू इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थर्मोडाइनमिक्स यू नो दिस ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इज वेरी वर्सेटाइल एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so friends let us start thermodynamics the word thermodynamics means a study of flow of heat and you can define thermodynamics like that the branch of physical chemistry which deals with the energy changes accompanying a chemical reaction <clears throat> now some important terms used in chemical thermodynamics like system surrounding <clears throat> and types of systems open system closed system and isolated system these terms should be clear and keep it in your mind so look at this picture is showing the open this is the closed and this is the isolated system now friends physical properties of a systems what is the system and their physical properties so first term is intensive properties what does it mean first temperature pressure viscosity surface tension refractive index a specific heat and density and then extensive properties for example mass volume energy heat capacity entropy gives free energy and the thermodynamics process there are many types of process isothermal process adiabatic process isobaric process isochoric process reversible process and irreversible process and one important term related to thermodynamics is internal energy you have to define the internal energy is like that every substance possesses a definite amount of energy which depends upon its chemical nature temperature pressure and volume this is called internal energy so total energy is equal to et translational rotational vibrational electronic en and er internal so del e is equal to e2 minus e1 now friends laws of thermodynamics there are three rules of thermodynamics first law is like that thermodynamics or law of conservation of energy also you can say law of conservation of energy so first stated by meyer and helmholtz in 1814 energy can neither be created nor destroyed although it can be transformed from one form to another or the total amount of energy of the universe is a constant now you can see the first law of thermodynamics state 1 and state 2 so from here to heat transfer and work so e is the internal energy the e2 is equal to e1 plus q plus w equations 1 and another one e2 minus e1 is equal to so friends <coughs> heat transfer q and work w this is a state 1 and state 2 you can see and e is equal to internal energy so q and w and u internal energy so friend e2 is equal to E1 plus Q plus W 
and e2 minus e1 is equal to q plus w so definitely e is equal to q plus w or you can see del e change in energy so e2 is equal to e1 plus q plus w e2 minus e1 q plus w del e is equal to q plus w so now there is a condition if work is done by the system then del e is equal to q plus minus w done by the system plus q heat absorbed by the system minus q heat liberated by the system plus w work done on the system and minus w work done by the system now enthalpy and enthalpy change enthalpy is the amount of heat stored in the system under particular conditions and is termed as heat content of the system so h is equal to e plus pv enthalpy change del h is equal to h2 minus h1 on constant p hp ep and pp heat absorbed by the system on constant pressure then hr is er and vr so equations b and equation a is equal to del h is equal to del e plus p times del v now friends a spontaneous process what is this process a spontaneous process are those that can proceed without any outside intervention and processes that are spontaneous in one direction are non spontaneous in the reverse direction now friends what is entropy entropy can be thought of a measure of randomness of a system so you know gas solid and liquid so order of randomness is much more in gas than liquid than solid so s gas s liquid and s solids you can see in picture like total energy e the enthalpy h entropy is a state function therefore del s is equal to s total minus s initial and del s is equal to q reversible by t now friends second law of thermodynamics the entropy of the universe does not change for reversible processes and increase for spontaneous processes so del s universe is equal to del s system plus del s surrounding greater than 0 just remember where del s total greater than 0 irreversible or spontaneous real if del s total is equal to 0 equilibrium uh, reversible ideal and friend if del s total less than 0 none is spontaneous so second law of thermodynamics third law of thermodynamics nurse 1906 the entropy of a pure crystalline substance at absolute zero is zero what is the difference between first second law 
first law is concerned, uh, concerned with the accounting of the various kind of energy involved in a given process. Second law is concerned with the availability of the energy of a given system for doing useful work. And combining the first and second law of thermodynamics gives in 1878 this formula derived del G is equal to del H minus T del S. So free energy or gives free energy in 1878 JV gives created the free energy functions by combining the 1 degree 2 degree law of thermodynamics. So del G is equal to del H minus T del S. Free energy chain del G, G1, H1, S1, G2, H2 and S2. According to Gibbs, G1, H1 and S1 and G2, H2, H2 where T is constant. So equations B and equation C gives del G is equal to del H minus T del S. So free energy changes and spontaneous spontaneity of a process. For a spontaneous process, del H total is equal to del S system plus del S world. So del H total is equal to del H system plus minus Q by T system QP spontaneous is equal to minus QP system surroundings QP surroundings not system. So del H total is equal to del S minus del H divided by T where QP is equal to del H. Multiply of minus T on both sides, minus T del S total is equal to minus T del S plus del H or minus T del S is equal to del H minus T del S. For Gibbs free energy, energy, del G is equal to del H minus T del S for a spontaneous process. So predicting sign of del G in relation to enthalpy and entropy, del H, del S and del G, negative, positive, always negative, spontaneous process. Positive, negative, always positive, non-spontaneous. Negative, negative, spontaneous at low temperature and positive at high temperature, non-spontaneous at high temperature. If positive values then if positive value non spontaneous at low temperature, if negative value is spontaneous at high temperature. So friends, in conclusions we can say the directions of variations, whether from left or right or vice versa. The accomplishment of work be the useful or not, be the, the reaction energy for driving variations must be delivered from an external source. So friends, hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and also share it in your friend circle so that your friends and your relatives also benefited from this video. So I request you to share it and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.